When most people think about the beginnings of AIDS, they're going to think back to the 1980s. And certainly, this was the decade in which we discovered AIDS and the virus that causes it, HIV. But in fact, this virus crossed over into humans many decades before, from chimpanzees, where the virus originated, into humans who hunt these apes. This photo was taken before the Great Depression in Brazzaville, Congo. At this time, there were tens of thousands of individuals, we think, that were infected with HIV. So I have a couple of really important questions for you. If this virus was in tens or hundreds of thousands of individuals at this point, why was it the case that it took us until 1984 to be able to discover this virus? Okay. Now, more importantly, had we been there in the 40s and 50s, 60s, had we seen this disease, had we understood exactly what was going on with it, how might that have changed and completely transformed the nature of the way that this pandemic moved? In fact, this is not unique to HIV. The vast majority of viruses come from animals, and you can kind of think of this as a pyramid of this bubbling up of viruses from animals into human populations. But only at the very top of this pyramid do these things become completely human. Nevertheless, we spend the vast majority of our energy focused on this level of the pyramid, trying to tackle things that are already completely adapted to human beings that are going to be very, very difficult to address, as we've seen in the case of HIV. So during the last 15 years, I've been working to actually study the earlier interface here, what I've labeled viral chatter, which was a term coined by my mentor Don Burke. This is the idea that we can study the sort of pinging of these viruses into human populations, the movement of these agents over into humans, and by capturing this moment, we might be able to move to a situation where we can catch them early. Okay, so this is a picture, and I'm going to show you some pictures now from the field. This is a picture of a Central African hunter. It's actually a fairly common picture. One of the things I want you to note from it is blood. That you see a tremendous amount of blood contact.